Buongiorno ragazzi, or buon pomeriggio, or buonasera, depending on when you're watching this video. This is the sixth of our online classes, if I'm not mistaken. I hope that by now you've at least sort of adjusted to this weird model of instruction. Uh, today I'm going to try to make this sweet and quick, so I'm going to move on to the topic straight away. It's a very simple one. Gli interrogativi. That means interrogatives or, if you will, uh, question words. Okay? We're going to learn how to ask questions in Italian. So, domanda. You've heard me pronounce this word in class a lot. Domanda. That is a question, right? Per fare domande ci servono gli interrogativi. In order to ask questions, we use interrogatives. Hmm? Many of these you have heard a lot in class because I'm constantly asking questions. The most basic one, of course, is che or che cosa, what. Uh, and you can also simply say cosa. So you have... Uh, Three possible alternatives here. Che, che cosa, or cosa. Notice the soft S in cosa, right? Che, che cosa, or simply cosa. All of those means mean what? Then we have quale, or quali, which means which. We have two versions of this because quale is singular. When you're asking which about one thing or person, quali is plural when you're asking about more than one. Then we have chi, which means who, dove, which means where, perché, which means why. Notice the accent at the end on the E. Come means how. Quando means when, quanto means how much, and quanti means how many. Okay, so let's practice these a little, completing the following questions with the correct interrogative, okay? On the left, as you see, you have the possible answers and then on the right you have a list of 10 questions that are missing the interrogative. Let's do the first one. As you can see I have listed this as D and R. D means domanda so that's question. R means risposta or answer, right? So we have question and answer. Numero uno. Blank sono i tuoi amici and the answer is sono molto simpatici. Simpatici. You guys remember what simpatico is? It's one of those adjectives we did at the beginning, right? And it means nice. And molto means many or a lot, right? And sono is the essere form for loro, right? So this means they are very nice. Blank are your friends. They are very nice, right? How are they, right? Or what are they like? So the answer is... Come? Come sono i tuoi amici? Numero due. Di blank sono questi libri? Sono di Claudio. Hmm? Of blank are these books? They are Claudio's, right? Remember that di means of, right? So this means that the books belong to Claudio, right? We're asking about a person here. So the answer, of course, is key. Uh, oh, there's a mistake here. It needs to be key, sorry. <laughs> di chi sono questi libri? Sono di Claudio. Sorry about that. Um, blank porti lo zaino a Maria. Answer, le porto lo zaino oggi sera. Remember what oggi means? That means today, right? Today at night, I take the backpack to her. Right? So this is a question about time, 
Right? So, the answer here is cuando, when. Cuando porti lo zaino Maria, le porto lo zaino oggi sera. When you take the backpack to Maria, I take it to her today at night. Blanco costano i pomodori 5 dollari. So, we're asking how much, right? How much do these tomatoes cost? Remember, pomodoro is a tomato, so it is quanto? Quanto costano i pomodori? Numero 5. Di Blanc sono i tuoi genitori sono del Bronx. We ask this question a lot in the first couple weeks of class, right? Remember, di dove sei? It's the same thing. Di dove sono i tuoi genitori? Where are they from? Di dove? Numero 6. Blanc non vieni al cinema stasera? Ho bisogno di studiare. Blanc, you don't come to the movies uh, this evening. I need to study. Remember this expression with avere, avere bisogno, o bisogno di studiare means I need to study. Right? So what are they asking here? They're asking why you don't come to the movies this evening, right? Perché? Now it is again the accent on perché. Numero 7. Blank fai questo weekend, guardo la televisione. Blank you do this weekend, I watch TV. Cosa, right? Here we could also write che cosa or che, right? But we're basically asking, what do you do this weekend? Numero 8. Blank sono i tuoi autori russi preferiti. La risposta da Stoyevsky Tolstoy e Chekhov. Blank are your favorite Russian authors and the Answers Dostoevsky, Tolstoy, and Chekhov. By the way, three very good writers, if anyone is looking for reading material during this quarantine. So we're asking who they are, right? How do you, uh, or which authors, right? How do you say which? Quale, right? But notice that here it is autori. The singular is autore, the plural is autori, so we need to use the plural form of quale. Quali, quali sono i tuoi autori russi preferiti? Which are your favorite Russian authors? Numero 9. Black persone c'erano alla fiesta, risposta c'erano 30 persone. Hmm? Remember, c'è ci sono, which means there is. Well, c'era or c'erano is simply the past form of this. So black people were at the party, or there were at the party. Answer, there were 30 people. We're asking about a number, right? So it should be quanto, but here we change it to the plural feminine for persone, so it would be quante persone. And then numero 10. Blank, hai comprato le tue belle scarpe? Risposta in un negozio di Arnhem. Blank, did you buy your beautiful shoes? Right? Scarpa means shoe. The plural is scarpe, remember the rule, A goes to E, right? And I comprato, that's just the past of to buy. So blank, did you buy your beautiful shoes? Answer, in a, in a store in Harlem. Negozio means store, right? So what are we asking? Where, right? So again, dove? Dove hai comprato le tue belle scarpe? So I hope you agree with me that today's topic is very straightforward, right? Again, I'm going to pronounce the interrogatives for you. Che, che cosa, or also cosa means what. Quale or quali means which. Quale is singular, quali is plural. Chi means who. Dove means where. Perché means why. Come means how. Quando means when, quanto means how much, and quanti means how many. So, the activity for today is very simple. Please send me two questions in Italian with their answers. Only two, okay? If you want to, you can change the examples that I gave you just a little bit, right? Um... Hopefully, there will not be the types of questions that we were asking at the beginning of the semester, right? Hmm. 
uh, qual è il tuo nome, come ti chiami, di dove sei, uh, hopefully they will be something slightly more creative, but just two questions with their answers. And of course you can contact me via email or WhatsApp if you have, vogue, have questions of any sort, okay? Finally, I want to remind you, many of you might not <clears throat> remember this because, you know, these um, days in quarantine sort of blend into each other, but uh, we have a mini break this week, uh, starting actually today, which means that the next video for our Italian class will be uploaded next Monday. So I hope you will take that time to uh, catch up on anything you have missed so far. Okay? Grazie ragazzi. Ciao ciao a lunedì.